now we are going to discuss a very important concept and of course confusing as well that is called as the this keyword which actually refers to an object this is how we write this in javascript and it has many uses when it comes to referring local members with some scope we do use the this object so let's understand what is a this object first of all we are going to have just a simple console.log and I will try to display value of this when you try to display the this object it shows the current context or in a way where exactly it is pointing to if you observe in the console screen it says the window object so why is it so the reason is when you write the this object it refers the current scope and the current scope for any line in JavaScript is the global object so here when you write in the browser it says window if you are referring the this object in node.js then it's going to say the global object in short whenever you do not have any limited scope and if you use this then it is going to refer the global scope actually here also it is the global scope which is uh, being referred but the thing is here in the browser the global object is window that's why it is showing the window object now let's try to change this I'll write a function function test inside this I'll say console.log and I'll try to display the value of the this object let's call the function now this function is part of the browser the function scope is again the global object only that is the window object only so in this case if I run it still says the window object because the default binding with this object is window now let me add one statement here I am adding a statement called use strict this is basically writing the code in the strict mode right I hope you you know what is strict mode when you write the code in the strict mode then the default binding doesn't work so if you put the this object inside a function and if you have the use strict written in the beginning let me clear the console then you will see it says undefined so if your code is working in the strict mode and the function which refers to this object then this will not have its default binding but if you do not have the strict mode certainly inside a function it is going to refer the window object only so this works with the current scope and it refers to the global object by default so now in this simple way of writing a function when we do not have the strict mode on if you write this it is going to refer the global object then when will it refer the owner let us create a situation where this refers the current object instead of the window object so we can create an object literal or maybe we can create a constructor function as well constructor function is ES5 syntax and in ES6 we do have classes so we do not want to discuss that for the moment but at least we can create an object literal here let me create an object literal and here I'm going to create a method I'll just say uh, try method that's the name of method so we have a method called try method and I'm going to use the function keyword now I'm going to try console.log this right so now let's check what is the value inside a method of an object right so now let's try to call obj dot try method let's see what happens here now when I run if you observe it says that the reference is of the object that is obj right it shows the members of obj if I add one more member here let's say member one member one if I add a member here and if I assign some value right let me clear the console and run the code you see this when you try to display this inside the method you'll observe that it shows the object now it is not referring the window object instead it is actually referring the owner of this method and the owner of the method is obj so that's why obj is displayed so by looking at the previous code where it was showing window object and in this particular code where it is showing obj 
it proves that this refers to the current context this refers to the window object or global object by default why am i saying window and global in browser we have window as a global object but in node.js if you try this you will have the global object itself that's a global object in node right so in short this refers to the global object by default if you are using it in a function with a strict mode then it's not going to refer the global object there won't be any default binding so that's why it was showing undefined and here it is showing the owner that is the reference of obj this is how the values are changed depending on where this is used in case of a normal function like this the traditional one i have let's say console.log this and of course i do have an object literal also let's say i have member i'll say member is equal to maybe 200 some value so we are creating an object literal here we are creating a function right now what i want is when i call the function i want to pass this object reference to this right certainly right now if i run because it's a global object reference right it's not going to show object the only way as a programmer you can think of is you may pass this obj or right now we have this object literal globally available so at the at the most what i can do i can say this is equal to obj so i i'm trying to assign the reference of object to this right let's clear the console and run this you observe that uncaught reference error is appeared it says invalid left hand side in assignment it says that you cannot assign a value to this at least not like this now let's say you have a situation where you want to assign some object reference to the this keyword that is to the this object right that's what the need is and because you cannot assign anything to this directly in javascript then how will you do that to do that you have three ways in javascript you have call apply and bind in short whenever you feel that you want to assign some object reference to this instead of the default value right be it window be it the object reference as a part of method you want to assign your own your desired object to this then you can use call apply or bind how to use call apply or bind let us try to see that here now call actually is a method of class function right so any function you have in javascript has a method called call apply or bind even it has a property like prototype right so every function has these methods so this function also has a method called call so i can say test dot call then i pass the reference obj here all right now here i am not giving any parameter though in the call i am passing it but here i am not giving any parameter let's try to run and see what happens if you observe instead of window object now it is showing the reference of the object itself so this is how you can pass the reference of object to this so in a way i am assigning something to this but with the help of call as you can see that we are passing one parameter but if you see the definition of the function there we don't have any parameter list the reason is the first parameter always goes to this it means let's say this is a normal function where you have more values to be passed i might have two different values five and six then i have to say a comma b maybe right and let's also display a and b so now what happens here obj goes to this you don't see that here you have only two parameters five goes to a and six goes to b right so now if i run it's going to say mb is 200 fine that's the that's the reference of the object then a that is 5 and b is 6 so always remember that the first parameter you pass when you apply the call method it is always going to be the reference to this assume that i just remove this obj and i just have 5 and 6 and i'm using call method what should happen here 5 should go to this 
6 should go to A and nothing goes to B. So when nothing goes to B, it's going to be undefined. But when you pass 5 to this, then the base class of 5 is number. So if I run this, you will see it says number 6 and undefined. Right. So whenever you have the call method or apply and bind, they also have the same behavior, right? So the first parameter is always the reference you want to pass to the this object. That's why we use call. Now second question is, when we have call, apply, bind, they all are same. Why do we have those two more methods when we can do the same thing with call only? The reason is, when you apply, then the parameter list you have to pass as an array. So let's say you have many values and you want to pass a single array, right? Then instead of using individual parameters, you will use apply method and you will pass an array, right? So you just have one array to be passed, right? That's the only thing is changed compared to call. So the first element 5 goes to A, the second element 6 goes to B, that's it. Again, so what does apply do? it changes the reference only. The difference is you just have to pass parameters as an array. Again, bind also does the same thing and the syntax of bind is similar to call but then there is a difference. Bind doesn't call the function immediately rather it returns the function like a function expression, right? You can check my function expression video to understand what a function expression is. So, I can say var maybe some function uh, let's say fn right so we have the fn function right bind will not execute the function it will return the function so bind has done the job it has changed the reference but then it is not yet called so with the fn so later on when you want to call you can use the fn. Now this kind of pattern generally uh, if you have any exposure to angular or react right then we do use bind many a times when we want that some reference needs to be changed and that should return a function which we take in some variable and then we call it later on. So call apply and bind these three methods are used to change the reference of this basically it says that you are binding the object reference. So when it comes to binding, you use call, apply or bind.